We shall be reading from the letter to the Philippians, the letter to the Philippians, chapter 3 and verse 4. The letter to the Philippians from Apostle Paul, chapter 3, verse 4. Though I also might have confidence in the flesh, if anyone else thinks he may have confidence in the flesh, I am also circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of the Hebrews, concerning the law of Pharisee, concerning zeal, persecuting the church, concerning the righteous which is in the law, blameless. But what things were gained to me, these I have counted loss for Christ. Yet indeed I also count all things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and count them as rubbish, that I may gain Christ, and be found in Him, not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith that I may know Him, and the power of His resurrection, and the fellowship of His sufferings, being conformed to His death, if by any means I may attain to the resurrection from the dead. Apostle Paul has understood, after many years when he sends this letter to the Philippians, that his righteousness is rubbish. Rubbish! useless even if it leans on the law and not on the grace of Christ not only his righteousness but also the righteousness that leans on the law it is useless and a great obstacle for I can know Christ the power of His resurrection, the fellowship of His sufferings, and to be conformed to His death. Hallelujah. And when he realized this, Christ blessed him and used him. Because He condemned. He thought, counted it all as abomination, his righteousness and what he thought that had worth in his life, he thought it as loss, counted it all as loss. What Apostle Paul wants is to know Christ, to know the power of his resurrection, to be, to have fellowship of his sufferings and to be conformed to his death, who forsook everything to do the will of his Father. With what logic and righteousness, man righteousness and man's logic, could God ever accept to become man and to die on the cross of Calvary? God! To sacrifice himself on the cross of Calvary? God! With what righteousness other than the righteousness of God? And Paul on this righteousness, condemns, rejects, thinks, and counts it all loss what was once worth in his life, and he wants one thing, the grace of Christ in his life. Jesus in his life, his mercy, his compassion, his long suffering. He wants the work of Christ in his life to be done in full and perfect. The invitation is nice today, my brethren, a very nice invitation indeed, for us to reject anything earthly and human and sentimental and logical and righteous, whatever, my brethren, this might be, and to devote our soul, our body and our spirit to the grace of Christ, and to say, Christ, go before us in our lives, because we want to see the fruit full in our lives. I want whatever you have predestined for me from you in perfect blessings in my life for me to see it, to live it, to obtain it. 
for me to enter with all this fruit which you have prepared for me into your kingdom in heaven. For me not to be deprived of anything. Amen, brethren. For me not to cut short the work of God for me, what He has prepared for me. Until now, I confess. I confess that I know things very well, that I have made many mistakes. I have cut short your work in my life, Lord. Whether in the point where I have understood this, or in the point which I haven't understood it yet. It cannot be. I have made mistakes which I haven't understood. And I have made mistakes which I have understood. But today, I repent. I return like Jonah, not with a fish, but with my will. From where I started from. And I say, Lord, now, I don't want to go now to Tarshish. I don't want to go to Spain. Lord, I want to go to Nineveh. Help me want this. I want to go where you want me to go. I want to walk as you want me to walk. I want to do in full your will as you have programmed for me. So I can see like Jonah, all the Ninevites return and repent. All of them though. And to see in the house of Cornelius be baptized with the Holy Spirit. All of them though. And all of those. And to all of those. And to me. For your glory to be evident. Let's repent my brethren. Let's return. From where we started from. So we can go to Tashish. Let's repent. And return. And start. To go to our Nineveh. The trip to Nineveh is nice. It's a nice trip. It has much fruit. Our heart does not accept this. Doesn't accept it. But the trip is nice. Just think, my brethren. What else it would have been? The trip of Jonah, if he said, Amen, Lord, save them all. And to see Christ saving them all. And how unfortunate the trip of Jonah was when he said, Lord, don't save anyone. And the Lord saved them all. Amen, brethren. When we see the hand of God in our lives, let's fear. Let's say, as I said, those who complained against Peter, you went and ate with that man, a Gentile. And he said, I went and ate and slept there. Hallelujah. But the Lord was with me. And this is the evidence. And they all said, May you will be done, Lord. And the will of God was done, not only to Cornelius or Peter, but throughout all the world. Now, my brethren, with this acknowledgement in our hearts for the many mistakes in which we have done, for the many mistakes in which we have done, half of them we know and half of them we don't. And if we take the word of God which says, double is what we don't know. We only know one third of our mistakes, the rest we don't. Let's not say that we do not make mistakes. And we do, and we will do, and we God keep us safe so we won't do make, make mistakes again. We are returned to God, we are repenting, we confess that we stumble in many things. We confess that it was not good. Teach us, Lord, the way to Nineveh. And I'm saying this with all assurance, if you want to believe it. Each one of us has his own way that leads to Nineveh. Try and find it. Search for it and we will find it. There is a road before us. For Jonah, God used him in many regions. He said the people of Israel with Jeroboam. He used him many times. But he had his own way. Like Peter had his own way towards Nineveh. If you've seen the Bible, they all had their own way. Like you, you have now your way towards Nineveh. And your heart resists. Your righteousness suffers. But God invites you to follow Him. 
So you can see the blessedness of God, not cut short in your life, but full and perfect. Amen. Let's rise now, my brethren.